Hello everyone, this is episode 14 now, and we're gonna be continuing. Right, last in last episode we've defeated Polyphemus, and if you see, he's the greatest monster we've destroyed. And now, I'm gonna go. Are we ready to get going, my lady? Yes? Yes? Yeah, yeah, she's ready, let's go. Storm Nimbus, and we're now in Boetia. We'll be fighting some Maynards. Right, so I thought I would uh, bring in the news from the previous episodes where I've asked about tweaking. And it seems most people prefer if I leave this character untweaked. Untwinked? Or untweaked, whichever. So, we're not gonna be tweaking then. We're just gonna be going as if this was our first character, basically. Seems like uh, pretty much everyone wanted it to be this way, and I think that would make for a for a better let's play anyway. Then I don't, I can't imagine myself shamelessly sending myself overpowered gear anyway. So I, I don't think that would work. Okay, that's what we'll do then. And right now we're just uh, having some standard battles with Maynards, pretty similar to what we did with Satyrs before. Back when we were in the Spartan grounds. These Thunderbolts seem to stun them really well. Although Squall is a bit tricky to use because it's an area attack and it's in a single area and main as they run out of it. So you have to kind of cast it into yourself or in the place where you're gonna be. So as they come to you they get affected by Squall. The same applies for area attacks of other masteries like Eruption in, in uh, Earth Mastery would work the same way kind of. Yeah, I uh, also decided that I'll be talking about some game mechanics and some points in the episodes and I've already uh, seen some people asking me about offensive and defensive ability and um, that's something I definitely want to discuss because there's quite a lot to discuss about this game mechanic. But I want to pick a good episode when to discuss it. So I'm thinking perhaps maybe, maybe once I get to the Parnassus monster camp, since that whole episode will be me slaughtering satyrs and other monsters. So and I think whilst you'll be watching me killing them, you'll be hearing out this nice game mechanic. So it should probably happen about three or four episodes from here. And of course, if you have any other suggestions for any other things that you want me to discuss related to the game, like any other game mechanics you're curious about, then uh, feel free to mention in the comments and I'll try to fit fit those discussions in somewhere in the, in these Let's Play videos. Because, uh, yeah, from time to time I do run out of things to talk about. So it'd be nice to know what people want want me to talk about. If you notice, we're fighting some stronger satyrs now rather than the ones we fought before. These ones, dark satyrs, they're a bit tougher. And before we go, look at this frog here. This is actually really cool. See, it's moving. Yeah, quite cute. But anyway, so we're going to be crossing this bridge to get to the Ambrosos farmlands. And this is quite a bit of a large area, and there's loads of centaurs around here. And centaurs are fairly tough and powerful. I'd say they're among st some of the stronger enemies in Act 1, so you should be careful. There we go. And if you notice the elders, the elder centaurs, see they, they've got like a war horn and stuff. And they can uh, also set up a battle standard. You should always try to move out of the battle standard range, because... Otherwise they're going to be too strong and they will overpower you. Always lure them away from it. We go to Curas, and it's pretty shit, so that's going to go up for sale. We're not going to be using that. And we're back fighting the pigs again. There's loads of pigs around here. God, there's tons of them. <laughs> they got stuck there. Not sure what happened, they somehow blocked each other's path or something. I'm pretty sure that guy over there is just swinging and not doing anything. Just swinging his mission. Why, why were you not helping your friends? Right. Yeah, there's plenty of pigs around here. I'm not sure the Ambrosus villagers would be happy with me slaughtering their livestock, but their livestock is insane. Some of you actually will be f facing pig heroes in here. <laughs> Believe it or not, there are pig heroes in the game. There's like Erymanthian boar and Caledonian boar. 
Uh, actually, they're both from mythology, so you can read up on them. Or maybe at some point I'll talk about them if I get a chance. That was a massive pig there. Alright, we're also going to be meeting with our old friend in a minute. There he is, Chiron the Centaur. A gentle greetings, good traveler. Fuck off, crow. Are you surprised to find a centaur not crazed with me? And we talk to him again. You see, Seriously, where are these crows coming from? Get out. Peace with all the creatures. Right, they won't let me talk to the guy. Right, so basically his bow was stolen from him by this Maynard priestess. And he wants us to get it back because he can't get it back himself. And we're going to be exploring more of Ambrose Farmlands in a minute. First we're going to get his stuff back. Uh, okay, and uh, yeah, Chiron from mythology, he was a really intelligent centaur, not like the others. The others were like wild and pretty much drunken idiots and he was the only rational one, you know, the intelligent guy who would study medicine and he was actually known as uh, the tutor. He, he taught quite a lot of heroes and demigods like Achilles, for example, so he was known for that. I'm wondering though if he, his bow was actually stolen from him or he says... She kind of stole from him without him expecting it. But what I'm thinking is that he probably had like a drunken night, uh, drunken night out with her. They had a bit of a, you know, wild night. And then he woke up in the morning hungover from that amazing wine that she supposedly gave to him. And then he discovered that she was gone to get with his bow. That's what happens. You can't trust these Maynards. And there's a conveniently placed frostbite shrine around here. Which you're going to put to use. These maniacs chose the wrong cave to nest them themselves in. That lightning bolt struck me right in the face. Alright, and if you see, she's, we've been chasing her around the whole cave. And now she's at the end there. She's got nowhere to run. She's going to make her final stand. And we're going to destroy her. She's got all her minions here. She's not too hard, actually. She knows we can just pretty much destroy all her minions. And there we go. And she fell in a rather suggestive pose. Not sure what she's trying to do there, but your tricks aren't gonna work on us, sorceress. Here we go, Essence of Golden Fleece. It's one of the relics. And if you notice, we picked up a Karin's bow a second ago. Is that buckler of reasoning? How can a piece of wood make us reason? Yeah, that's that buckler of reasoning. We're not gonna use it as shit. And this is Karin's bow, which we're gonna give to him. And Golden Fleece. Golden Fleece was something Jason and the Argonauts were after in mythology. Alright, we're gonna get out of this cave. And now we're back here. We're gonna give Karin his bow back. My bow. Splendid. Warrior. Yep, you don't lose it again. Don't get any drunken knights out with those Maynards. They're not trustworthy. And there we go, he's given us two attribute points which we can use now as a reward. So we're gonna put one in intelligence and one in dexterity. Since we're quite low in dexterity, and I want it for offensive and defensive ability. And uh, we're gonna carry on now. Explore more of Ambrosos farmlands, and there's quite a lot of en enemies here. See, it's getting really swarmed around here, and pigs and everyone just teaming up against us. But look at that, we're managing to stand strong against them all. It's pretty good. It shows that our character is actually doing alright. Because she can tank all of that. There's plenty of crows, wild crows around here. I'm pretty sure there's a crow hero somewhere as well. Look at that, there's a satyr brute and long... Oh my god, we've really... We've really aggroed too many enemies there. But once again, we're managing to do really well. I'm gonna kill them all! You won't take me alive! Take that and that! Take this! Bitches! And there's a couple of satyrs there hiding behind the trees. It's like, well, you think I can't see you? Alright, looting their chests. Just because we can. Right, hopefully that satyr's taken care of around here. And there's more pigs. Pigs, pigs everywhere. Yeah. If Ambrose's villagers ask why we've killed so many of their livestock, we're just gonna have to say self defense. Hey, and yet there's more pigs around here. Sometimes you get monstrous boars, and they're tough. Hey, somebody's studying me. S 
some cuss study prey. How dare you? I'm the hunter, you the prey. In Soviet Russia, you don't study your prey, your prey studies you. And I guess the Soviet Russian antics have spread to ancient Greece. That's why we're getting studied by... by our victims. They, they keep casting study prey. If you didn't know, study prey lowers your... Uh, pierce resistance slightly. So basically that's what they're trying to do, they're trying to lower your pierce resistance so then they can skewer you with spears and arrows. So you gotta be careful there. Seriously, why is that pig attacking me? What does it want from me? I haven't done anything to you, seriously, just keep eating your grass and just leave me alone. Hey, level up. We're leveling up quite fast. Yeah, these first 20 levels or so you're gonna level up pretty fast. After that it's gonna start getting slow. Uh, we're gonna level we're gonna assign the attribute points and skill points in a minute. Right, looks like we've explored the entire Ambrosus farmland, quite a big area. So we're gonna assign in our skill points in a minute once we get to Ambrosus. And looks like there are a few pigs just by the entrance. Gonna quickly kill them all. Nice shield thwack to the torso. Okay. Village of Ambrosos. Let's assign our points. So, we got... what have we got here? We're gonna put... a couple points in the defense tree. Gonna soon get shield charge. And I'll put another one in shield smash. I can't wait to get shield charge. Hopefully in the next level up. Right. And... put one attribute point in strength, one in intelligence. So that should be good enough. And yeah, Ambrosos, it's a fairly small village, it's nothing much around here. It doesn't really have a portal or anything. But uh, we're going to explore it in the next episode and we're going to continue further. I'll see you guys later.